I am uh, deeply afraid of spiders in their real state. Literal moths. Uh, losing someone I love the most. Failing. I'm afraid of snakes. Uh, something I'm afraid of is waking up in 20 years and just being upset with where I am and the decisions I've made. And tigers when they're hungry. So fear is a very subjective uh, conscious state of being, right? So there's things that trigger us to act in things, like people that have traumatic events, we call post-traumatic stress disorder, and those things act on us in an unconscious way to behave in ways, you know, like posturing to, to get into a fight or to run away from something, and that actually gets reinforced by dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is a, is a neurotransmitter in the brain that reinforces our behaviors. And so when we run away from something that we're fearful of and we feel safe, that feeling of safety actually makes us feel pretty good. There's part of that, though, we can, ha we can experience things that may normally frighten us in safe areas, right? So we can go see a scary movie, for instance, and we know inside the confines of the movie theater that even the scary things on the screen may startle us. We're not really ever truly under threat. I think people like getting scared. Um, I think people like the feel of that adrenaline rush, kind of the same reason why people go on roller coasters and watch horror movies. They, they know that they're not going to get hurt, so they just thrive off of just the adrenaline that you get. So I feel like that might be why people also do haunted houses. Like, they want to get scared. People like being scared. But we should also uh, differentiate something between a startle response and a true fear response, right? A startle response is something that happens when, like, someone says, boo, in front of you, you jump up, right? Well, that's not really a fear response, technically. That's just a startle response. And a lot of what we get out of watching scary movies and, and things like that is really more of a startle response than a true fear response. Now, if you want to talk about anticipation of something happening, like Alfred Hitchcock movies uh, from back in the 50s and 19, 1950s and 60s, where he would build anticipation up of something horrible. He would actually never show you the violent event happening, but he'd give you this long creep up or you know, anticipation. And then when the, after the scene was over, you felt the sense of relief. And that sense of relief reinforces th the feeling of anticipation you had before. You kind of know when the jump scares are going to come. So it just makes you more anxious for that. But when you're like in a haunted house or in like a haunted like corn maze or something like that, you don't have that um, that feeling, like it's just kind of always with you. You're like, oh, something's gonna happen, but you don't know when. But I remember going to Fright Fest when I was younger, and I remember this one clown, she was just like around my height, she creeped up right behind me, and it's, it scared like the crap out of me. And I just, I don't like getting um, like jump scared. So we all have innate fears, right? So, so again, things like spiders and bugs and certain animals with basic fears, like fear of drowning, for instance. Those are survival techniques. The only thing about childhood fear that goes unresolved is that it can incubate in the brain and become worse as we get older and it becomes harder to undo it. For my expectations, I don't know. I expect to get scared, it's Halloween. Um, if I don't get scared, I'll be very surprised, but I'm probably gonna scream. To have my heart race a little bit, to have a fun time, fun. <laughs> Whatever fun means to you. <laughs> that got me for sure, like, was not expecting. But all in all, it w it's not as scary as it looks to be on the outside. Like, just actually going out there and doing it helps you to deal with what you're afraid of. Um, and if you don't deal with what you're afraid of, then you'll never get over it. When I was 14, I made this really big bucket list, and it had like 130 things on it. I always wanted to go skydiving. That was one of the things on the list. These are all subjective things. Some people like things a whole lot. 
you know, may like skydiving but hate watching a fearful movie. And sometimes if you try to probe someone why that is, sometimes you might get an answer. So the one thing that convinces me of actually doing is, because one thing is that I'm not going to be doing it by myself. Somebody's going to be strapped with me. And that helps me, that makes me feel so much better about doing it because somebody that's actually knowing, knowing what they're doing and um, is like secure to my body and is like responsible for my life it just makes me feel much more better about like taking part of doing that. It may simply come down to the fact if you like doing like skydiving or doing some other dangerous type of physical activity, maybe it's the act of doing it that you enjoy. When you're actively actually doing something, you're more in control of it, so to speak. One of the reasons was I wanted to do it is because I wanted to experience the adrenaline rush of jumping off a plane. But the one thing that was stopping me was my fear. And if you really think about it, after you're being like through time, I understood and learned that after you're done, like being afraid of something, then you're like, that's the only thing that's stopping you from doing what you want to do is just the fear. And that goes to any situation in life. I hope that by the time I reach the ground, I feel a lot more empowered and a lot more better about myself than how I felt when I was like in the plane before jumping. So I just, I just hope, I feel like this will give me a, a, a new perspective on a lot of things. So that's like what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm very eager to do this. I'm very excited, but at this point, I just want to do it. things like you take like a basic fire drill right the reason we do this from a young age on is so that we're prepared to how to act in a crisis situation and not be paralyzed the biggest problem with fear is fear paralyzes us when we're in a fearful uh when we're really in the in the throes of, of a fearful response you, you know emotionally and cognitively you freeze. I am quite afraid of public speaking. I think it's kind of been a lifelong thing because like if I have to give like a big presentation or like go in for an interview or something like that, I really just like lock up. Some amount of training or some amount of exposure to, to something that makes us fearful, right, allows us to be prepared to act when that bad thing, if and then one does happen, we're ready to actually act on it. I was in, I was in England and I went and I saw this girl walking towards me that had the same shirt on as me. It was a it was a weekend shirt, like the weekend, the singer, and it said uh, Starboy on it. And I was like, oh whoa! I looked down. And I had the same shirt on, and I was like, oh cool! Like I'm gonna tell her like, hey, nice shirt. So she's walking past me. I say, hey, nice shirt. And she just looks at me like, and then walks away. And I was like, is is this is this is this all I am? Is this what I have to look forward to? <laughs> so that, like that's that's the kind of thing like I'm afraid of. Going up to strangers on the street is like a really like. It's, it's, it's just a nerve-wracking experience. It can be easily misconstrued as like a really creepy thing when in actuality you're trying to come off as like a, you know, just simple compliment, like, hey, nice shirt. I guess maybe like with this, it'll be like a, like a confidence booster in a sense. So yeah, I mean, hopefully it'll pan out. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, uh, I just wanted to ask, is that, a, is that a PC music shirt? Oh, dude, that's sick. Hey, you got some fantastic taste in music. Yo, is that a Coheed and Cambria shirt under that jacket? Coheed and Cambria. Yo, all right, cool. All right, we got some people with good taste in music over here, so that's good. Hey, man, uh, just wanted to ask, is that a Deadpool Christmas sweater? Oh, dude, I think that's that's really sick. On, wait, can I actually like, get a look at that? Like, that's actually kind of, like, that's genuinely cool. Like, <laughs> oh, that's sick. Is this Mike's mom? It is Mike's mom. I just wanted to tell you. Oh, this is uh, this is Anthony. This is uh, one of his friends, and we're uh, I'm just just going around complimenting people, and I just wanted to say that uh, I think you've raised a very fine boy. 
think he's uh, I think he's great, and I think he's a, he's a good friend and uh, a very talented individual. And I uh, just wanted to say I think you're doing a great job. You know, I didn't I didn't really know what I was gonna expect when I went around complimenting people. You know, I was hoping for like some kind of nice reaction. I think I think it kind of helped a lot. And, and maybe it was just the people I was going up to. You know, them just being like ge generally kind of friendly. Um, in terms of like how it helped me. Um, I think it gave me a little bit more confidence, uh, you know. I'm not as, I don't think I'm as apprehensive when going up to people anymore. And I guess that's really all I can ask for. So whenever we face our fears, that's the way we overcome them. We desensitize ourselves to them. And we also grow as individuals. You know, fear is, is, one, of those, is one of those things that hinder us the most, most in our lifetime. So, you know, there's tiny little fears, like fear of a spider, versus bigger fears like speaking in front of a public audience that may keep us uh, from a career or may keep us from our next level in a job or or something like that that we've denied ourselves just because we're fearful. So facing this fear certainly makes us more enriched human beings and it also gives us more self-confidence of what we are and what we can do. So it's, I think that's a very important. So to be able to confront them and face them and know that we can conquer them is a very powerful thing for any human to be able to accomplish.